Welcome to my video. To get new educational videos and updates, please subscribe to my channel. I'd be very grateful if you could please like and share this video, which I hope will give you a beneficial knowledge. The general four secrets for IOL implantation. First, make sure the capsular bag is inflated. The size of the incision is fitting the IOL injector or folding forceps in the correct IOL orientation inside the eye. Remember, always Z and never S. And the IOL is in the bag to avoid post-operative uveitis and glaucoma. Our lens today is the IC one lens which is hydrophobic soft acrylic preloaded IOL the design is very nice with overall diameter of 13 millimeters and this is the A constant for different biometries it is safe and stable and it has 90 degrees anchor wing haptics with square edge and the asphyristi making the halos and the glare less. So from doing the capsule rexes you have to design um, and put in mind the lens that you are putting in. So we start our capsule rexes as usual uh, anti-clockwise um, I usually inject every three clock hours a little bit of OVD then you go with the cystotome I use mostly shearing forces only it is more controlled than after removing the cataract, we inject the cohesive viscoelastic and we open the pack uh, of the injector and the lens is preloaded already. There is a hole here that you, you have to inject uh, low viscosity OVD. Then you push the plunger, ideally with your thumb, till you have the IOL inside the nozzle as shown here. And you will feel a click when you push the plunger, then you stop. And you see the orientation of the lens to be correct, and it is ideal to use a low viscosity uh, OVD. Here is our case, and this is the hole in the injector, and this is the nozzle. So you have to have the IOL inside this nozzle when you move the plunger fo forward. So I am putting here the low viscosity OVD and you can see now the OVD is filling the area around the IOL till the junction between the injector and the nozzle then you stop in this white arrow there is no need to fill more then you push the plunger no need to enlarge the wound as this IOL can go through the 2.2 millimeter incision then you see the orientation of the lens when you're pushing the plunger till the click and then you stop now the orientation is correct the uh, haptics are folded over the optic make sure you don't have this positions which is extended haptic or incorrectly folding leading haptic or extended trailing haptic or incorrectly folded trailing haptic or the rotated or twisted optic so 
if you have any of this don't inject now you are ready and the orientation is correct so you can go through the incision and the bevel is down and inject at the edge of the capsule rexus and keep the plunger till you make sure that the IOL is unfolded inside the bag here is another uh, case you inject your the orientation is correct and at the edge of the capsule rexes but the haptic sometimes is not folding inside the bag you can help it by the dialer to push the optic haptic junction and flex the haptic inside the bag as shown here remember always Z and never S this is in any IOL uh, that has the trailing haptic and leading haptic and then we wash the OBD from the front and the back surface of the IOL Thank you for watching.